I'm Dara with Aaliyah Blake, and this is a follow-up from our Gray Hair Glamour video. I first want to say that I don't have any makeup on, so I wanted to start fresh and to help you with those questions that you asked as your comments. The other thing I want to say is that age is a reality, so just embrace it. Let's learn how to accentuate our positives, and we're going to teach you some things that maybe, you know, as our skin changes, we have to do things a little differently, so we're going to address that today. But I also want to share with you that, in my opinion, me going gray was the best thing that I could have done. I love my gray hair, and it was a hard choice, and it was a personal choice. And that's why I didn't comment on, I didn't reply to those comments that you had made, because I really think it is a personal choice. But I'm glad I did it, because I really feel like I look fresher. I definitely feel like I look more harmonious, and my husband thinks I'm hot. So, on that note questions with skincare and we do actually have a blog post on my personal skincare but I'm going to go ahead and tell you that of course using the proper skincare is paramount because as we age our skin is going to slacken and sometimes we see some discoloration and you know we need to keep that freshness and we need to keep that skin stimulated so one of the things that I actually love to do is I um, Fiend eye cream. So I use the Rhonda Allison Eye Revitalizer, and I'm going to just put that around my eyes like so. And this you can bring all the way up and around your ocular bone. It's really best to spread it out this way and up when you do so. When anything you do on your skin, make sure that you do it in a gentle manner. The next thing that I'm going to do is the Exotica Rhodiola. I'm going to take one to two pumps of that. And when applying the skincare, when I'm you know, home, I actually put it on from here up, and then whatever the tail end is, I go ahead and get the back of my neck because these things also age, and we need to be concerned with them. Your skin is your largest organ, and your body skin, your face skin, actually starts here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And this does differ from the blog post because it is now more of a summer season for us here in Tennessee, and I like this guy. It's a little bit lighter. So one of the things is, again, I don't have makeup on, so what do I start with? One thing I want to say is, you know, we hear so much about the things that we shouldn't do. Let's talk about the things we should do. Let's embrace color, because color enhances your look. It makes you look brighter, it makes you look fresher, and it makes you look younger. And then we also have other things to consider as we age, and even if you're not of, you know, a mature skin or a wiser skin, as I like to say, you may have some discoloration on your eyelids. Eyeshadow primer is fantastic to help with that. When I do my makeup, I always do the eyes first, and that way, if I have any fall down or mistakes, I can easily fix them. So with the eyeshadow primer, a little goes a long way, and you can see the difference between this eye and this eye. It really helps with discoloration, it helps your eyeshadows from creasing. It keeps them on all day. And it also, <laughs> okay. It also what? What does it also? It also is a great base for everything that you put on top of it. So now you can put your eye makeup on and you know you're gonna get the right color. So when I'm at home, I always start with my eyeshadow primer, and then before I start pulling out my colors, I think about what is, what's my intention for today? Am I going to be doing a presentation? Am I just going to the gym? Am I running errands? Am I going to a wedding? I like to pick out my colors, and I like to pick them out in a palette that's in harmony. So today, I'm actually going to be wearing all, mostly, not all, but mostly my Power 31 colors, and that's my enhanced pink. I really, really like that, especially for this time of year. It's fresh and it's a really fun and lively color palette. So what are these Power 31s? Well, we design our colors per hue and we help you find your best hues. So here's the thing. You can get our lip drape online. You can also get our cheek drape online and they're really fun color games to help you towards finding your best fits. And one more thing about when you do your makeup per hue. It's a good idea if you're wearing a red lip to definitely wear a red cheek. So we call our reds powers and there's certain hue numbers that go with it. So like I mentioned, 
I'm wearing Power 31, so I actually picked out a blush that's in that same hue, but it could be in that family as well. As long as you wear reds with reds and your more corals with your more corals, your, your strength colors and so forth, you just wanna be in harmony, especially with your lips and your cheeks. And then with your eyes, you have a little bit more movement. So this is one of my favorite brushes. His name is Prize Fighter. I think he looks like me. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the color Pure. I love this color because it ha helps to brighten this area for me right here. And that's another one of your questions that I wanted to address was how to bring out your eyes. So highlight is important. Always dip into the product, always tap off. You'll hear me saying this a million times. I don't care whether you use press or loose, it's super important. And then just go ahead and pop this all over your eye lid area and I like to do it all the way up to this area here the crease and if you get a little over no biggie okay I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other side this is tickle me and I said don't be a fear of color and I'm gonna use a pretty big color so pinks and pinks and blues are really the Pantone color this season so I'm gonna embrace it so I'm using fuss pot and he's a bold blue sort I'm gonna put him right in the middle of my eye. See how I put, did that? I did it right there. So here's the middle of my eye. You can see it and I go pop, that's it. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm actually kind of going like right through there. This is another thing that I think is really nice to do. When you use this brush, and anytime you do anything for your bone, whether it be this brush or the prize fighter, make sure you don't lift your eye because when you do that, you don't get things in the right place. So if you keep your eyes open, just like if when I'm doing my makeup, I look straight ahead and I frame this little area here. You know, that's one of the things that happens as we age, you know, we do lose some muscle tone right through here and that just kind of gently pokes that in, but gives us a fresh look instead of using that heavy dark look. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna do a quick look so that means like I'm going to the gym, I'm going to run errands, you know, to the grocery store. So I'm going to use my Walk the Line brush and I'm going to use the color Self-Reliant Dry. So I'm just going to take the color and I'm going to roll the brush in the color and it makes a nice little, takes that little guy and just gives enough color on the tip of his little head, his little fur. And then I'm just going to dust it along my lash line. And this is a question that I hear a lot, actually. So how do you do this? So you just close your eye. It's easier to add than it is to take away. A little tip when you're doing this is if you can feel, let me turn this around so I can show you. If you can feel the ledge of your eye right there, just get that brush and that ledge and don't get stressed about it. Just just do it. Just lay it on there and go. Okay. It's nice and soft and now I can just put some mascara on and go. For the eyes, at least. I'm definitely not leaving without foundation on. So you're probably wondering why I did my eyes and I didn't do mascara yet. Well, the reason is, is I always do mascara last because I don't want any dust on my lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do foundation. Now, ladies, foundation is super important. It's the number one thing that ages us when we do our makeup. If you don't have the right color, you're gonna look dull. You could look dull and sallow, and you definitely won't look as fresh. So when you look for a foundation, and this is mine, you wanna make a stripe, and you don't wanna blend it in. I mean, you wanna kinda of have it kinda of heavy. So. So what you want to do is you make one a stripe down your face and I mean I put that on pretty thick and you can see that without me blending it in it's really sinking into the skin. Before I do that though, super duper important is foundation primer. I'm going to show you on my hand why this is important. So I'm going to put Foundation and primer, just a little tiny bit on this part of my hand. And then I'm gonna put 
and we'll dip in, we'll tap off. I'm gonna put some foundation on that. You can see that it just looks great. Nice and even and soft. And then I'm gonna take that same foundation and I'm gonna put it on this side. See the difference. So, about one to two pumps. This, put it on your hands, smooth it along your skin. Sound effects are always fabulous and make everything look better. Sorry, I can't do makeup without using sound effects. All right, nice and smooth. <laughs> this guy I love because I feel like I need a little more coverage. Now, that's another thing, ladies. Don't use such a heavy, heavy coverage that you can't see your skin. It's nice to allow your skin to shine through and when you have the right color, you can do that and allow your skin to look fresh. So what I'm gonna do is always dip in, always tap off. I'm gonna bounce the color here, bounce the color here, dip in, tap off, bounce, 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 and then I'm gonna start blending it down. And I'm doing this without looking, so I hope it's coming together very well. And I know that I like to kind of get in through here, and that's why I like this guy too. Now we have a lot of different brushes, and there's different brushes for every, you know, everybody has different needs for their skin, and some people like flat top better. This is just the guy that I personally like. As you can see, the color looks really natural, and the only thing that I need to work on now is a little bit of these under eye circles. Now, why doesn't my foundation work for that? Well, it did pretty good on this side, and I didn't get it all the way up there, but I could have. But unfortunately, this is a different color, so I have to use a different color in order to correct that. And there's a lot of different concealers that we offer, and these are things that we don't have online, so if you have, need help, just give us a call. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a color, number 71. Now, here's a great tip about concealer. Most of the time when people put concealer on, they start by putting it right underneath their eye first. I forgot to show you this brush though, but I love this brush, it's called Hide Me, and I really love them, and I've already loaded them, but I really love them because he has this beautiful little point, and so I'm able to work the color in, and I'll show you how to do that. But the one thing I like to do is start here and then move up. So I'm gonna have to use a mirror for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this right here, and this also creates a little bit of a highlight, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock a little bit of this off because, again, I'm going to quiz you after this. It's easier to add than it is to take away. So I'm going to blend up. Oh, that looks so good. I can see it already. See how I did that? I just blended it up. Now, one of the questions that I saw on our comments was, what happens if you have backs? Well, that is another concern, and light brings out and darker seeds. So if you did have a big bag, you would most likely have to do a slightly deeper color on the bag, and then you do this highlight right through here. And that's where this little tip comes in, because you go like this in the well, the eye, and then you just use the little side. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy. And this one's my naughty side. He likes to be cantankerous. That's okay. Okay, ladies, now we're gonna apply blush. Now, please wear blush. It makes you look fresher. So remember that I'm doing my get up and go kind of look first. So if I were just gonna go just kick around town, I'm just gonna use a very soft blush. What? <laughs> kick around town, I'm kicking. I'm going to put this blush on, dip in, tap off, and I'm going to apply it to the upper areas of my cheeks. Okay. So I put my lip gloss on, the color is called Aspiring, and this is my fresh love now. The only thing left is soften and some mascara and then I'm ready to run those errands. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that soften on. Always dip in and tap off. Soften is this fabulous powder that we have. It's a high definition powder. It's great for men and women, actually, especially if you have to have your pictures taken, if you're going to a wedding, any special events, 
It's really soft and silky and it's 100% mineral. And from what we understand, you can also use it as a dry shampoo. So I'm gonna just go ahead and bounce that all over. Do -do -do. Told you sound effects are special. It just smooths out the skin. I'm ready for my coat of mascara. Like, again, ladies, this is the last thing that I always do is mascara because I don't like to get dust on my lashes. I'm using the blue. I love the blue, and I think it softens me a little bit. It's fun. And I'm going to start at the base of the lash. Wiggle, 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 pull. Put a little mascara on and how it really makes a difference. So this is my three-minute look. 